Welcome back to uh, the WWE 2K19 Universe Mode. Again, this has been a while. This is episode 27 or something around like that. 26 or 27, and we are on SmackDown. Anyways, yes, it has been a while, and uh, just because the last few weeks have been extremely busy because my exams are coming up, so I had been I have to have everything prepared for that. And also, right now, I am currently, yeah, really allergenic, I guess. Anyways, that's why my voice sounds a little odd. But anyways, Dean Ambrose, set for action against this man, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe and Bobby Roode will clash at SummerSlam. And uh, Dean Ambrose will also clash one on one with the WWE champion uh, the, I should say the heavyweight champion Andrade Cien Almas who will be also in the main event against Bobby Roode and here comes the lunatic fringe this man is currently in all elite wrestling but in our universe mode, he's here on SmackDown, where he belongs. Oh, I mean, I think he's a better suit on AEW, but if we're talking, like, WWE, he deserve, he, he's a SmackDown Live superstar. Anyways, Dean Ambrose set for one-on-one -on -one action against the Samoan Submission Specialist. This match is about to ring. Ambrose set. Joe set the bell rings a massive jaw kick delivered Ambrose immediately you got to think what if Vince had something to do with that one there go right after him and Samoa Joe now up top with a shin uh, looked like a shin breaker Ambrose now slowly getting back to his feet able to get out of the way of uh, Samoa Joe there but able to cut got uh, able to catch a punch double knees right to the back and Ambrose winding up going right in single leg takedown into this laying on the right Joe is down for the probably a brief second Ambrose taking the opportunity to climb to the top rope calling Samoa Joe to his feet what's Ambrose looking for now Ambrose now single arm like elbow drop thing one kick out already by Joe. And Ambrose now turning things around to a, a, a guillotine here of sorts. But Samoa Joe able to escape that fairly instantly. And Ambrose fighting, but Joe fighting back. Samoa Joe, somebody that does not give up too easily, as we saw with the whole AJ Styles rivalry. Ambrose kick right to the midsection. He's lucky that the referee didn't detect that as hitting the lower to uh, the lower mid region. I'll put it that way. And now able to hoist up the massive frame of Samoa Joe back inside the ring. Ambrose did again going to the top rope. Joe turning around. Ambrose now elbow drop for the pin on Samoa Joe. One kick out. Samoa Joe able to come back there again with a chin breaker of sorts. And uh, Ambrose yet again rolling through. And now with the ground and pound style of Ambrose coming into play here. Great opportunity. Now a massive kick right across the chest. And yet again Ambrose with the massive kick. Dragging him now back towards the center of the ring. And for a third time, a kick. Now playing up to the crowd, something he does best. Show him to reverse that one there fairly quickly. Oh, wait a second. Sleeper hold. Sleeper hold on the big man. That, if he gets him out, no, never mind. Good luck there. I was going to say, if he would be able to get Samoa Joe out, that would be big. And now the massive 
suplex Ambrose with the wherewithal to move towards the outside of the ring. That's gonna be that's a very smart move by Ambrose as Samoa Joe knocks him off the ring, and now going out after Ambrose. Fairly decent match to kick off the show here on SmackDown. Ambrose able to move out of the way. Yet again with a sleeper on Joe. Is he gonna get make a pass out? No, not even close. I'm good at many things, but doing that submission is definitely not one of them. A massive back fist. Ambrose. Oh wait a second, out of nowhere! Ambrose! Dirty deeds! For the pin on Samoa Joe! One! Two! Oh my god, Samoa Joe the resiliency! But back to his feet already? What the hell? You can see where Ambrose has been doing delivering the chop straight to the chest of Samoa Joe while it's beginning to form on the upper body. Ambrose is doing a one hell of a job keeping Samoa Joe at bay. Able to knock him directly off the apron though. Kick right across the midsection and now Joe bring him back to his feet. Still on the outside, Ambrose able to reverse that completely, sending Samoa Joe to the WWE Universe. Ambrose taking this opportunity to roll inside and now taunting him. And a massive clothesline. Missed the punch. Ambrose turns around. That was a mistake. Dirty deeds. For the pin on Samoa Joe. One. Two. Three. The number one contender for the heavyweight championship. Picks up a win over Samoa freaking Joe what a great start to the show a little bit of post-match respect here well deserved anyways it's time for our next matchup so let's get to it all right everybody it's time for our first women's match of the episode I should say our women's match of the episode because we can only have five matches on this card Which is sad, but it, that's what can only fit an hour. So yeah Anyways, I've just been told that the winner of this matchup will be the new number one contender To face Nikki Bella at SummerSlam for the SmackDown Women's Championship Bailey's was successful last week in defeating Carmella and her opponent has also had a few wins by pinning Mandy Rose for a Money in the Bank qualifying match. Alexa Bliss will have an opportunity against Bailey coming up here on SmackDown. Anyways, uh, I, yeah, this is going to be one hell of an episode because for the first time in a very long time, Kurt Angle will be in competition here on SmackDown. He will be taking on Shinsuke Nakamura. And that match is a little bit later on. Anyways, Bailey now set for one on one action. Winner is number one contender. High stakes on the line. Sorry about that noise there. And here comes Little Miss Bliss. Still sporting that nice attire. Anyways, this match is almost official. We're just gonna get the bell to ring while well, it is official. It just hasn't started yet. But as I said a couple times, high stakes winner equals SummerSlam opportunity here. Bailey able to get the first, cha able to chain wrestle Alexa Bliss down to the mat. Bliss able to completely roll through, going back after the head. And Bliss holding it on, going after the arm now. Bailey able to turn it around. This is how I love. This is what I love about chain wrestling. You never know who's going to take control. 
Bailey continuing on and yet again pushing Bliss away. Bailey getting out of that chain wrestle. Uh, chain wrestle, uh, the successful uh, winner of that sequence. But Bliss able to get back on top. The chops raining down. Bailey now against the ropes goes Bliss, ducks underneath. Fez press. Bouncing her head off the apron and now Bliss going after the knee. Massive chop, Bailey enters back with one of her own. Ducks underneath Bliss now against the ropes. Bailey misses wildly with that draw kick. I don't think she really thought that Alexa Bliss was gonna go for those ropes and well Bliss outsmarted Bailey in that one. Oh the top rope now Bailey missed with the punch Bliss f five feet of fury up top missed the cross body able to roll inside and try to regather herself Bailey right behind her though snap suplex right to the outside that is going to leave a mark and now the massive right now it's Bliss back in control. Face first off the ring post goes Bliss. Referee now at a count of four. Five. Setting Bailey back in the ring. Bailey now against the ropes. Massive clothesline. I don't know if she if it was supposed to be a clothesline or a punch, but it was definitely effective. A cocky pin there. Didn't quite cover the entire body. She could have resulted in a much better pinfall, but she chose to go the easy way out. And barely hanging Bliss up to dry. Beautiful Hurricane Ronda there. Oh, wait a second! What the hell? What the hell? Bliss! Back to her feet! Turns Bailey around! Kick! DDT! One! Two! Bailey kicks out! Bailey kicks out! Alexa Bliss! I don't know who's backstage, but somebody's messing with the Titan Tron as well, like, is messing with that. That happened before with Sanity. And it's, oh, right, kicked right to the midsection. Bailey was going for something. Bliss able to catch her with a massive clothesline. Size advantage, I'm going to be honest. Oh, cross body! Unable to get the lateral press. But pinning her anyways. One. Two. Nearly. Excuse me, nearly had her. Bliss has been in control the majority of this matchup. Missed the draw kick. Oh, missed the draw kick again. Missed the... Oh, but that connected. And Bailey, with the wherewithal to roll to the outside. Now that there is is very very good ring knowledge right there. And Bliss just disrespecting Bailey. Went for a choke slam, I think. I didn't think she was going to get that, but okay. Bulldog! Bailey now center of the ring. Opportunity now for Alexa Bliss. Up top. Twisted Bliss! Wait, Bailey got the knees up! Bailey got the knees up! But Bliss... Well, that was a big punch. For the pin now on Bailey. One, two, nearly had her again.
And Bailey punch her to the midsection. Winner goes to SummerSlam. Ba Bailey! Bailey to Bailey! Out of nowhere! One! Oh my god! Electra Bliss gets her shoulder up! Only a one count! Holy hell! What a matchup we got here! Bailey now with a comeback! I should say calling for it! Oh wait a second, taking her down there! A Bliss being very smart! Oh, Bailey with a massive knee across the face! Bliss! Go for a suplex! Connects! Insult to injury! Connects! And Bliss with the momentum able to make it so she goes directly into that corner! Bailey on the ground! Bliss not being cocky! Is she gonna connect with it? Oh my god! Bailey being the genius! I am in shock that this match is still going. <coughs> oh my god, just bashing your head off the ring post. But the ring post, too. Nearly had her again. What is Bliss gonna do now? Oh, she's gonna use the ropes. One, two, nearly had her. Oh, wait a second! Out of nowhere! Bailey reverses! Bailey reverses! Bailey reverses that one! Bailey going up top! The Macho Man elbow! Connects on Bliss! One! Two! Oh my god! Bliss kicks out! Bliss kicks out! Are you kidding me? Oh! Holy hell! Possum! One! Two! Oh my god! She kicks out too! Are you kidding me? This is a matchup for the ages! One! Two! She got her! Bliss! Bliss got her from nowhere! Alexa Bliss is going to SummerSlam from a roll-up! Forget the ending, that match was absolutely insane! This is probably one of the best women's matches we've seen yet on the universe mode. Alexa Bliss and Bailey putting each other to the max. Both women hit massive moves, and Bailey hit that Macho Man elbow. Macho Man was something that, that she, like she, yeah. Anyways, Alexa Bliss is going to SummerSlam for the SmackDown Women's Championship against Nikki Bella. What a match we just saw, and what a match we are going to see. Here comes the club. Anyways. Alexa Bliss is going to SummerSlam for the SmackDown Women's Championship against Nikki Bella. That was one hell of a match, and I'd watch that four times over. Anyways, the club suffered tag team action against the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, The Revival. Last week we saw one a, a complete surprise. First is a tag team. We, we knew it was a tag team match. We see Kurt Angle come out and trickling behind him was Chad Gable and Jason Jordan. And well, Jason Jordan and Chad Gable picked up the win over the Revival. And then following that, The Rock had a promo about SummerSlam. And well, it's now official. The Revival will take on. Team Angle for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships, and that match is at SummerSlam. Anyways, here come the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the men that lost in the last episode of SmackDown, quite embarrassingly too. Anyways, the Revival set for tag team action here. The club also with a huge opportunity. But it shouldn't be too much of a surprise now for the Revival who their opponents are. 
Anyways, the revival now set for tag team action against Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. The bell is uh, rings. This match is now underway. It's Scott Dawson going right in for a suplex. Does he connect? He connects with it. The club are a huge, are actually a bit of a staple down on NXT, but are currently our SmackDown Tag Team Champions. I don't know what's going on now, but I think the referee is kind of getting in Scott Dawson's way. And look at this! Look at this! Anderson nearly took uh, charge of what happened there. But it was Scott Dawson able to see him coming and be able to kind of get out of the way. Referee was moved. It looks like it's Scott Dawson now with a massive clothesline onto Carl Anderson. Looks like Dash Wilder wants in. Anderson now in the corner. Oh, wait! Wait to the referee! I don't think he meant to do that! But the referee was out on the ropes for a bit of a, a little bit of time. Punch, Anderson in the corner. In comes Wilder, the freshest, almost the freshest man in this ring. Now Luke Gows is the freshest man in the matchup. Has not quite, hasn't been in the ring yet. Carl Anderson has been taking a lot though in this matchup. And now just being tossed out of the ring like he's just a sack of nothing, honestly. Dash Wilder now following him out to the outside. And now using his environment as a weapon. That's something that Dash Wilder is good at, is using anything around you. And a massive clothesline though. Second, these men have each other's back. Scott Dawson just came flying off the apron. Referee the count of seven. Anderson just getting back to his feet. What's he doing? He's gonna lose the match. Just in the nick of time. But. Scott Dawson's not the legal man. It's Dash Wilder able to hit a DDT. Don't get me wrong. Anderson, a very experienced superstar on our roster. But I don't think he was really thinking at that point. I think he was just angered that Scott Dawson got into this matchup. Not sure what he was looking for there, but it was Carl Anderson delivering a big blow. I'm not going right after the neck, trying to choke him out over that rope. Anderson's all alone in the ring with Dash Wilder. He's got a finisher locked and loaded. Went for that neck breaker. But D Wilder, I, I do not know what he was just trying to do, but okay. One. Oh, but look at that. It will take out the referee. Now it's now 2v1. And Anderson able to turn it around. And Luke Gallows is in the ring illegally. Spearing him off the apron. This is something we never see. Wilder going to the top rope. Oh, never mind. He's just playing up to the crowd. Okay. You gotta love the cockiness. Oh, wait a second, though. No. Anderson! Uppercut! There's the finisher! The neck breaker! For the pin on Wilder! One! Two! Oh my god! The club just pinned! Dash Wilder! 
The string of bad luck continues for the club! Not the club, sorry, the revival! They were in control of this match! And then a miscommunication cost them the victory! That right there, the referee was knocked out! And then in the end, Anderson was able to reverse it and able to hit the neck breaker on the Wilder for the pin. One, two, three, the revival just lost to Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. What does that mean for their match at SummerSlam? We'll have to find out. Alrighty, everybody, it's time for a match that I'm going to consider an utmost dream match. Shinsuke Nakamura, Kurt Angle, one versus one here on SmackDown. This is a match that would main event WrestleMania. This is a match that I, that I've, I'll be honest, this is a match that I've been really wanting to see before Kurt Angle actually retired. And, uh, well, at least this is a match I wanted to see in WWE. I'm not exactly sure if these if Kurt Angle and Nakamura met outside of WWE. But one thing is for sure, and that this match is going to happen on our universe mode. And I believe it's going to be a hell of a matchup. Anyways, Nakamura, Angle, one-on-one. -on -one. Coming up next. Anyways, let's get Angle out here. A match I never thought would ever happen. But surprise, surprise. It is happening. And here comes the Olympic gold medalist. And here comes his henchman. Jason Jordan, Chad Gable are going to be fighting for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships at SummerSlam against the Revival. Kurt Angle won a won an Olympic won a gold medal with a broken freaking neck. I don't know if that speaks volumes to you or not, but that just shows the resilience of Mr. Angle. Anyways, Kurt Angle, Shinsuke Nakamura coming up. And Nakamura, I'm loving that white and black attire. Anyways, match is on. But Nakamura going right after Angle. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked by that. And Angle barely able to get back to his feet. I mean... He's had a really lengthy career in this company, as well as outside this company. And he's been wrestling for years upon years. And that experience is going to come into play, but Nakamura also has been wrestling for years upon years. I'm not sure why our ring posts are off, but they are. And over the top goes Angle. Well, I think we're having a few lighting issues here with our set and these guys are just ju duking it off and Angle now sending him back inside the ring referee the count of three. Oh, Angle missing the punch Angle rolled through sorry about that my voice just cut out for a second and Angle went for a belly to belly and oh, okay that was a knee strike but it looked nasty There's one thing that Angle's gonna look out for in this matchup, and that is the low blow. Nakamura used to call himself the king of strong style. Well, people began to call him the king of low blows. And you know what? I fully agree with that statement. Nakamura locking in a guillotine here, hoping to pass out the Olympic gold medalist. Angle able to get out of that hold fairly quickly. And there's a massive takedown. And Angle now taunting Nakamura as well as the crowd here in attendance. Belly to belly. You can see the illegitimate son, Jason Jordan, on the outside. Oh, that was a nice suplex, honestly. Grabbing the leg, too. 
Went for something again, but Nakamura able to roll through yet again. Now, right to the midsection, but Angle! All the way got that strength, but he did. Where the hell is this guy going? No way. Oh my god! He got out of the way. That is going to take a year off his career. You can see Chad Gable was starting to go in that direction to, to see if his, uh, I, I, I'm not going to call it manager, but I'm just going to say kind of tag team partners, okay? Because that was a serious bump he just took onto the outside. And Nakamura, oh my god! Oh! Taking advantage of the situation. Ref for the count of five, Nakamura sending Angle back inside. Oh, went for the exploder suplex. And now Angle using his environment to his advantage. Angle now going for the three German suplexes. Not letting go. And here comes the third one, the trifecta. There it is. And Angle now in the corner. What is Angle looking for now? Turning him around. Angle slam! One, two. Oh, he kicked two! How the hell? Getting up top yet again. Angle now. Frog splash. One. Two. Kicks out. Kick out by Nakamura. Paying homage to one of Kurt Angle's biggest rivals, Eddie Guerrero. And now, oh, answers back. Now, yet again. Oh my goodness, that hurt. Kurt going up top. Wait a second. There it is, the moonsault. The angle moonsault. One, two. Oh, and Nakamura gets the shoulder up. Calling him to his feet. Turns him around, Kurt Angle, Angle slam for the win on Nakamura. One, two, three, Kurt Angle defeats Shinsuke Nakamura in one hell of a match. Kurt Angle actually surprisingly dominated it. But we saw some amazing spots including the return of that incredible moonsault. I want to see a replay of it. To be honest, you can see Chad Gable there and Jason Jordan also to the left cheering on their uh, their tag team partner. And this is the this is the move of the match. That beautiful angle moonsault. I loved it. That's one of my favorite moves out of Kurt Angle. And that's where Nogmore first got the shoulder up. But then made that angle was able to answer with a, uh, an angle slam. But anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a main event, so let's get to it, shall we? Alrighty, everybody, it's time for a main- WHAT THE HELL?! WHAT?! ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! Is it HE'S HERE! ON SMACKDOWN! I am legitimately watching this guy Goosebumps even though this is a video game! The Undertaker is here on SmackDown. I thought it was time. I, I thought it was time for a main event between Andrade and Bobby Roode, but the Undertaker making a surprise appearance here on SmackDown. Are you kidding me? The Undertaker is here, and he's coming out with a mic in hand. I don't know what to say. All I know is that the dead man is gracing us with his appearance here. Anyways, let's see what he has to say. This is unbelievable. Throughout my career, I have won. I have lost. 
I've buried and I've been buried. I am yet to have a SummerSlam match, and I'm gonna be honest, I'm really wanting one. So, I'm here to make an open challenge for SummerSlam. My challenge will be a match with the dead man at SummerSlam, and it is open to anyone interested to get in the ring with me. No holds barred. I don't care who it is. I'm just going to say to my future opponent, rest in peace. Oh, I my bones just chilled. The Undertaker is going to be at SummerSlam. Oh my God, this is huge. Alrighty, everybody, it is now time for the main event, and uh, we just saw The Undertaker on SmackDown Live saying that he's basically giving an open challenge at SummerSlam to anybody interested in facing the dead man in a no-holds-barred match. We do not know who's going to be taking that match, but we'll definitely find out at SummerSlam who it will be, and if the dead man will reign victorious, or will um, end up losing. But anyways, it is time for the main event, and Bobby Roode now set for one-on-one -on -one action against the WWE Champion. Bobby Roode, the glorious one. I said we get to this matchup, so let's get Andrade out here. My thing is for sure, and that is I'm dead excited for SummerSlam. Anyway, here comes the World Heavyweight Champion alongside Zelina Vega. Andrade, set for a one-on-one -on -one action here against Bobby Roode. Well. He's going to be turning his attention following this matchup to Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose was victorious against Samoa Joe earlier on in the episode. Dean Ambrose will be fighting for his uh, World Heavyweight title. Uh, he actually won the World Heavyweight title at Money in the Bank. Andrade defeated him the, ne the, the following episode on SmackDown. Andrade ended up victorious with the title around his waist. Will that will the same outcome happen at SummerSlam? We will be finding out uh, very soon. But Andrade set one on my action against the glorious Bobby Roode. Andrade rolls through, roll up here, back slide. One, two, nearly had him. That would have been a major upset for Bobby Roode. Again, it's ropes now. Walks a bit backwards. Not sure what he went for. Yet again. Trying to connect with something. Andrade had it scouted. In the corner now. Misses Bobby Roode. That is going to cause a little bit. Never mind. I was wrong. Sending Bobby Roode over the top. Broke now. Andrade calling him to his feet. Andrade now. We've seen this before against Ambrose. Oh, the top broke. Take it down to Glorious. Bobby Roode with a massive suicide dive. Sending Bobby Roode back inside the ring. This is when the, the knowledge of this game actually works. Miss with the missile drop kick by Roode. able to roll out of the way, but the WWE champion answering back. I should say heavyweight champion, but... I feel like I'm going to change up the titles a bit. I don't know. We'll find out at SummerSlam. Anyways, Andrade rolls through. Went for a powerbomb. Bobby Roode able to catch that second reversal. For the pin now. One. Kick out. Andrade not looking too good in this matchup now into a chin hold Bobby Roode way like really getting the better of that one is Andrade had a little bit there Bobby Roode not able to keep it on for much longer as Andrade is able to escape 
Getting a massive punch to the face. He has him up top. Beautiful. Fireman's carry neck breaker. Now stomp right across the forehead of Andrade. Is now Andrade not, I should say, Bobby Roode back in control of this matchup. Andrade busted out of the gates. And then Bobby Roode now. Oh, wait a second. Rolls him up. One. Two. He got him. That was your main event. Andrade, the heavyweight champion, just stole it from Bobby Roode. Are you kidding me? That was where he first got that crucifix roll up, but the match was won by this. One, two, three. Andrade has defeated Bobby Roode. Just a, but wait a second. Bobby Roode now in anger going after Andrade, but anyways, while this is happening, I'm going to take the, this opportunity to say thank you for watching. Oh, wait a second. We're going to see a brawl here. This is insane. Hammerlock. DDT champion stands tall after the main event of SmackDown. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure to come back. For the next time we are on, ladies and thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. NXT is coming up shortly. Simon Slam right around the corner. We'll hopefully see you next time.